Hey there! How are you? I hope you are doing well. Today's video is going to be a haul video, and this is going to be a collective haul for the months of October and November. Before I get into this video, I have two things to say. Number one, it is hot as balls today, so if I'm profusely sweating, please just ignore it, pretend it isn't happening, it's a tragedy. Cool. Two is, this video is proudly sponsored by ShopTagger. ShopTagger, as I explained in the last video that I did with them, um, I will link that also down below. But ShopTagger is an app, basically, that you add things to. It's a completely free app. Completely free, no micro purchases, nothing. But you add things to it from other shops, and it sends you notifications when the item goes on sale, is out of stock and also comes back in stock. So it's really handy for when you're wanting to, you know, zhuzh up your wardrobe, but you want to save as much money as you possibly can. And I am a sales shopper. And I think that's why I love this app so much and I've been using it for quite a long time. So the other video contains a more in-depth tutorial of how to get it onto your computer. However, Recently, I've discovered how to add things of a specific size to your lists, which is really helpful for when they go out of stock. So as I'm doing on the screen, I choose color, size, what price change I want to be notified of, and then it adds to the list. And here it is on the list. So don't forget to check out the other video for a more in-depth tutorial. So I will link the last video that I did with them in the description down below because it has an in-depth tutorial of how to use it. Also, I will leave links down below of where you can link to download this app. It is on iOS and Android as well as Chrome, Safari, Firefox, etc, etc. You can use it both on your phone and also on your computer. Completely free, amazing app, and it's great for those items you want to save some dollars on. So now, Let's get into this haul. So the first thing I have to show you guys is some candles and they come from my favorite candle maker, Elixir of Light. She is a Brisbane local, um, so she's very close to me and she's also Australian made, owned, etc, etc. And she makes artisan candles. So the first one I have here is the Twin and this is in the Egyptian Amber scent and it smells amazing. All of these candles look fantastic. So I have the twin, the meerkat skull, which I have in the wild mint and bergamot. This is my favorite scent. Um, then I've also got the eagle skull, also an anatomical heart, the human heart. Um, those two are both in dragon blood scent and I adore everything from Elixir of Light. I will link them down below. Um, just, yeah, I've been raving about her candles for at least I think three or four years now so it's a tried and true thing for me next up I have some things from shop Dixie which is one of my favorite jewelry places um, especially because they have started to get more into the gold and you guys know I love gold I love gold so the first thing oh is this one actually I'll show you this one first it's just a dainty little pentacle it looks like it's made out of little twigs and this is in the rose gold color and yeah just it is a bit smaller than I thought it would be like as I was looking at at it on the website but I like the fact it's this small I don't know it's different and it's really cute and dainty Anyway, next up from Shop Dixie, I have this little hair accessory thing. It is really cool. Again, fits in with the theme of this one. Um, they're not the same type of gold, but honestly, I like the look of mixing metals. So this is in the gold color and it has a hair slide, which I love, by the way, because it's easy to put in the hair and it also can help to style the hair. And I know it's not in the center, but basically that's the gist of it. It looks so cute, doesn't it? But like the pentacle one, this looks like twisted branches into the look of this kind of crown thing -o. So cute. I think this one comes in four colors too. Rose gold, gold, gunmetal, and silver. The next item I got from Shop Dixie, the next two are necklaces. Um, 
This one is again with the theme of the twisted branches and it has a little rose in the center there. I can't remember what this one's called but I know this one had a really cool name and this is in the gunmetal color I'm pretty sure. It's like a little choker thing so it sits like that on the neck. Doesn't that just look absolutely adorable? One thing Shop Dixie does really well are their chokers, particularly the Scotty series. And the final necklace I got from Shop Dixie is this fern necklace, this little fern leaf. And yeah, it's this one's in the gold and it's got a silver chain. So again, mixing metals. But see, it doesn't look that bad when they're together. I actually think it looks rather adorable when it's all three different metal colors. Just, yeah. This one is so cute and it had matching earrings that I nearly, nearly got. I've acquired quite a few earrings lately so maybe I need to lay off a little bit but then again, you know, I should lay off everything, to be honest. Next up I have a few items from a store called Goodbye Bread and they've kind of quick become one of my favourite places to shop for round the house t-shirts and basic hoodies. They're so comfortable. So the first one is this and this is called Alienation Generation. Um, it says it on the sleeves so I remember. <laughs> um, and it's just got this basic design on the front there um, and it says Alienation Generation down the sleeves like I said. It's a very thin jumper so I've been wearing it a lot um, during the summer days because part of my thing is that when I go outside even when it's really really hot if I know that I'm going to be walking or you know outside for longer than 10 minutes I will throw on a long sleeve. I know that sounds like a death wish but it's just Sometimes I just don't have the time to put sunscreen on and just, you know, sit and wait and let it marinate because I've forgotten to do it. So if I have to leave, I've got to do that. I absolutely adore long sleeve lightweight items because it does allow me to have a little bit of airflow in summer while also covering my skin from the nasty ass sun. The next top I got is this is intended for a bed shirt and it is incredibly comfortable and adorable and it's not black it's blue it's blue and white and has these gorgeous little kitties on it and it says her hell ho, 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 ho. so funny i like to pretend that these are my three cats Cartman, Binks, and Luna. Yes, I know some of you don't follow me on Instagram. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that one of my cats, the newest addition, is Cartman, named after South Park. But this shirt is so comfortable, and I don't know. I, I, I kind of, I really like the color. Who am I kidding? I, I don't hate any color, honestly. I used to hate pink, but now I kind of lo love it again. So. I don't know. The last thing I got from Goodbye Bread is from the Manami Frost collection. So it is this maxi skirt and it has this industrial kind of buckle looking thing on the front there. And it does kind of, it's like a wrap skirt that has a large thigh high slit on one side when it's folded correctly. The inside, it's made of, it's made of a material that reminds me of my old football pants when I played AFL. So. Um, oh no, it's more of the basketball pants, honestly. When I played basketball, that didn't last very long because I'm not that tall. I wasn't very good. <laughs> and that's how I got into hockey, and that's how I made my way over to AFL, which I played for many, many years. We've got to keep this moving. So next up, I have got some items from Shein. You guys know how much I love Shein. And this haul, I kind of, with a few of these things, there are some that I've got a DIY, and there are others that... I have a vision of how to like make it more myself. So the first item, you're going to be thinking like, what the hell are you going to do with that? Truth is, I don't know yet, but I was like enamored by it. So it is this dress. It's a dress. It is like a little bit big on the waist area, but um, I think it's a cute adorable dress. I'm thinking about doing a dip dye to it, so um, having it really dark down the bottom and fade up to this um, plaid print, because the plaid print is very monochromatic with this pop of red through it. I really like that. I think I'll change out the buttons also, uh, probably to black, 
so that's what I'm thinking about doing the, to this. Maybe I should make a video about it, but I don't know if it would be that interesting, honestly, because it would just be dip dyeing and sewing new buttons and stuff. But if you want that, let me know. Next up, I think in the last three hauls, I have gotten something that's black and white striped. And this is a long sleeved top this time, so it's a, it's a blouse, it's very airy. Um, very flowy, it does have a bit of sheerness to it, but it's not as noticeable as some of my other blouses like this. Um, high quality. One thing I'm not 100% on with this is that they used white cotton to sew on black buttons, and I don't know, it's not that noticeable from far away, it's just... Personally, when I'm sewing buttons on, I like to match the thread to the button color as closely as I can. If it's gold or something like that, I typically get a capped button, so all the sewing is underneath. So, that's that, it's just a minor pet peeve, but yeah. Next up, I got a few jackets in this because I placed this order when it was cold. So it did take a little bit to get to me, but that's okay, because now it's fucking hot. But I still love these pieces, and I'm hoping that, I don't know, it starts hailing or something, so at least the temperature goes down into the 20s or the teens or something, so I can put one of these on. So this jacket, it kind of looks like a black version of my old school blazer. Um, I went to a private school for a couple of years, a private boarding school, and I had to wear a blazer most of the year, and it was purple and gold, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, it kind of brought me back to that kind of preppy... I love the fact it's black and gold. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact it's black and gold? Okay, we're done. So the battery died while I was in the middle of talking about this jacket. Cool, let's move on. The lighting may have changed because the sun is setting outside. This jacket is a faux fur leopard print jacket, um, cheetah print, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's super damn hot. Why am I putting this on? It's really nice and it's really soft. Probably one of the better quality faux furs that I've felt. I was very inspired by one of my favorite people on Instagram. I will put her Instagram handle here because I don't want to butcher it, but she wears a lot of cheetah print and I kind of wanted to incorporate more of it into my wardrobe, especially because I've been loving the absolute crap out of it lately. And there's one more, one more jacket-like thing that I got, and this is a velvet fluffy sleeve one. So it's got faux fur on the sleeves and it's made of velvet everywhere else. It kind of reminded me of like 1940s, 1950s boudoir and um, I would like it. It's got dog fur all over it. That's what I get for having really fluffy dogs but it, I would have liked it if it was a little bit longer because I think it would have been more luxurious if it was longer, but it's a nice velvet. It's not made of crushed velvet. It's it's very nice. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know. I think it looks really luxurious. So I was very happy with that. The second last item I have is this blouse. And yes, it has a pink bow on it. It's a very baby pink kind of bow. And I don't know, I like the fact that it's mostly black, but has this little pop of color. Like I said, I've been enjoying and playing with colors a lot lately and you guys seem to be enjoying that too. Um, so yeah, it's got nice lace detailing, it's got these frilly sleeves, high neck detail as well, and it's just a very loosey-goosey kind of blouse. Very nice for summer. And the final item you would have already seen if you follow me on Instagram, it is these plaid pants. I got the last pair of plaid pants and I just had to have another pair because I love them so much and I love the color scheme of these. The navy, the goldish copper color and just, I, I love it. This pair though also came with some like suspender straps um, so I haven't worn them like that yet but I will in the try on portion so you can get the gist of what it looks like with the little strappy doodars on it. And the final thing for this particular video, I'm not going to say too much about them though, because I'm going to be doing a separate video on these. The Cemetery Lane heels from Killstar, they are 
gorgeous. I will be doing a full shoe unboxing of these bad boys and I just got dirt all over my hand from that. Um, I needed to clean off the bottom but I didn't. Anyway, love these. They look badass as hell. Look at that. Oof. I don't like to use the word sexy very often but these are some sexy heels. Anyway, shoe unboxing full review will be coming soon because there are a lot of things you need to know about these shoes if you're going to get them so stay tuned for that video i think that is all for this video yeah i also did get a wig but i don't want to reveal anything because i'm so close to a hundred thousand subscribers and when I do, when I hit 100,000, I'm going to be doing a drag transformation on Mr. Phillips, which will be quite enjoyable, and that's the purpose of the wig. So I hope you enjoyed this whole video. Thank you so much to Shop Tagger for sponsoring this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you want any information, I will try and link everything I possibly can down below. Shop Tagger will be at the top if you haven't already downloaded the app. It's completely free. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love to be here for every single video. Like this video if you like these hauls and you want me to keep doing them. Comment down below if there's something you would like to see on this channel. Also, what is your favorite item and do you currently use Shop Tagger? And we all have a fantabulous day. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.